Hallelujah. Amen. My name is Fever Senfuma. I thank the Lord for our pastor. Who has well led us for one and a half years. And I thank him still for giving me the opportunity to speak. I thank him together or alongside with all the pastors to see that this work stands. The Lord is good. I want to welcome you. Thank you so much for coming. You are so many and we don't know how to really balance you up. We have from this side and then we move up to this side. Thank you so much for coming. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to thank the Lord for his protection. The Lord has protected us. He has kept us at home. Every Senfuma, wherever you are, stand up and raise your hand. Stand up. It will be me to tell you to sit. Where are the others? One is here. If I start to do what you require me to do, I'll get off topic. But the Lord has protected us. We are well. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to thank the Lord. I want to give one testimony for protection. So many things have happened that wanted to take away our lives. But I want to testify about the last one. One of the children went under the vehicle. The child entered into the vehicle and it was parked. Those who well know our place, there is a slope. And the child removed the parking gear and it went into revance. So the vehicle sloped and it continued to slope until it hit the wall and powered the wall. But I want to thank the Lord. Apart from the shock that the child got, nothing wrong happened. There was nothing in between that distance that she sloped. We give all the glory back to God. Because 
there was not even a hen behind the vehicle. So the vehicle got spoiled. And the wall crumpled down. But the Lord saved us. Amen. Amen. I want to thank the Lord for the people that have stood with me. I have so many things to thank the Lord for. I kindly request you not to clap. And we have little time. I want to thank the Lord for Steva Christian High School's board led by Mr. Serunkuma Vincent. They have stood with me. By the time we went into COVID, we had 300 students. This year has been so hard. Two thousand one, two thousand three. Two thousand twenty one, two thousand twenty three. We don't know what will happen. But the wave that I entered into, I don't know where it will take me. I literally knew that the students won't return. But by the time we closed, we had 375 students. I want to request you to give us your children. We are there and we are teaching. Both spiritual and academic. The Lord gave us a center number. Just shortly after the late rested. Our school is registered. We got the registration number last year in November. PSS slash S slash 717. PSS slash S slash 717. Slash 717. And we also got the UNEB center number. It is you, Asatu Mumu and we had our first seating for senior four. We believe the Lord that our children, our students will pass because we've well, well educated them and prayed for them. Praise the Lord. online church. I want to thank the Lord for the online church. If you've been fellowshipping online and you're here in the building, kindly raise your hand. Oh, let me request you to stand. Kindly stand. We are usually this side and request people to clap for you. You're warmly welcome. Thank you for coming. May the Lord bless you. I want to thank the Lord for the Tuzimbe team. Even though I had said don't clap, kindly clap for the Tuzimbe team. First of all, I want to thank the doctor 
for not wavering or changing or altering in this preparation. Bible gamba. The Bible says when the priesthood changes, so the laws change. I thank you, doctor, for not altering or changing this program. And also not for changing the team that was there before. Thank you so very much for doing this job. This work was on the heart of the bishop. And to some of the last words that I spoke with him, he spoke so many words and because I was with him for three weeks and in the fourth week he was not able to speak. He always kept on saying, don't get to Zimbi money to treat me. And he always reminded me of the date of 20 million shillings. But I glorify the Lord. But this house of building is standing. With all the disturbances we've been having when we are having the inner man conferences, at least to resettled. For now, we are settled over to Omode. We give God the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. I prayed for the grace to uphold me. Today, I came to speak to someone who is like me. When you're in the wilderness, you didn't know how it began. You have sojourned the journey one year, two years. I'm in the third year. But you don't know. Big how it will end. Tomani, you don't know when it will come to dawn. Tomani de dala. You literally have no idea what other spear or sword is coming. Alinganze. And to one who is like unto me, who is like me is the one I came to speak to. It's your time passed and then you're in a vineyard, you will lose out on this session.
kubanga nze nze njagala amanyi muntu wangu wo munda because it's me who wants strength in my inner man njagala amanyi i want the strength kubanga mukama bwabata nyambye if the lord does not help me to give me strength in my inner man on a daily I may faint I may faint There are times when you feel like you're running mad Jagala kuogera no muntu ngo oli mudungu I want to speak to someone who is in the wilderness. Eri wakati mu musana. Ngori mudungu wakati mu musana. When you are in the wilderness and the sun is direct unto you. Ngatolina na subyo wasiso na jituka kodi. And have no hope that you will reach the oasis a place for water Lamentations chapter 3 verses 22 to 26 Okukungu baga esula ya kusatu Through the Lord is mercies we are not consumed because his compassion fail not They are new every morning Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore I hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him. To the soul who seeks him. It is good that one should hope and wait quietly for the salvation of the lord okukungu baga isula ya kusatu olinyirwa biri munya paka kwa biri mukaga mukama kaboga emme e bweyogera chenava musubira mukama abamulunje eri aba bamulindirira eri emmeme emunonya kirunje omuntu okusubiranga no kulindiriranga obulokozi bwa mukama ngateredde amena kirunje okulindirira obulokozi bwa mukama it is good to wait upon the salvation of the lord njagalo runyiriryo lugambye nti his mercies are new every morning i want a scripture that says it such a chiba chija kumacha waliwe chisera There is a time ngaweta aga echisa echipya buli lonaku when you need new grace every morning buli lonaku every day sigana abasaba omwaka i don't refute those that pray for the year naika tinze nsabira lonaku kulonaku But personally I pray for a day for a day. Buliruna kumukama mpechisa. Every day so that the Lord gives me grace. Bible yegamba mu kitabu cho cha cha cho lubelebele yesule yokusatulinyo lwo mwanana. Genesis the chapter 3 and the verses 8. Tibuli kaunge zimukama yajjango kuchekinga kubantu be that the lord always came in the cool of the day to check on his people job 7:18 agamba that you should okay but tanika kule 10 no msanvu what is man that you should exalt him that you should set your heart on him that you should visit him every morning and test him every moment yobu eslayam samvu nyira 10 na msanvu paka kule 10 na mnana omuntu chechi gwo kumukuza era gwe okumusa ko moyo gwo no kumujira buli jo buli ncha no kumukema buli kasera 
Nina okukiriza nti mukama atuchalira buli runa kukubange chigambo che changamba. I have faith that the Lord visits us every day because of the word that he gives me. Atenzi kiriza nti bwaba kukema era ja buli runaku. And I well know that when he tests you he comes every day. Kubanga sibuli dungu nti omulabe yalireeta. It's not that every test of wilderness comes from the enemy. Bible egamba mchitabu cha Deuteronomy nti nakutwala mudungu nkukeme nkugeze manye ebyali mu mutima gwo oba onagondera amateka gange oba siwe wao. In Deuteronomy the Bible says that I will allure you and take you to the wilderness try and test to you to see what is in your heart and see if you will obey my laws. Ya tukema bulirunaku. He tests us every day. Na yate ya tuchalira bulirunaku. Yet he also visits us every day. Ayagala tulabe alabe oba tumutaddeko okwagala kwafe. He wants to see if we've set our love upon him. Zabuli chenda mwe mukumi nanya. Psalm 91 verse 14. Agamba kubango ntaddeko okwagala kuchendi vankuonya. Because you've set your love upon me, I will deliver you. I pray that the Lord will give us the grace to pray unto the Lord. That prayer that the Lord gave unto the Ephesians to come to fulfillment upon us. Bible egambe mu kitabo kya Ephesians 2 verse 4. Ntiye mugambe 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 ntiye The Bible says he is rich in mercy. Kubango mutaddeko okwagala ku. Because you've set your love upon him. Chaliva kuonya. He will therefore heal you. Chaliva kuonya. He will heal you. Mugagga wa chisa. He is rich in mercy. Tuseme chaandikibwa cha fecho. Let's read our theme scripture. Let's not get weary of reading the Bible. Because you've not yet memorized the Bible. Let's read it and reread it always. 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 Those that are reading Luganda kindly follow in Ephesians chapter is 3 from verse 14. For this reason I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man. That Christ may dwell in your hearts, not because you you know, not because you feel you feel Him, but through faith. That you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints that what is the width and length and depth and height to know the love of Christ. to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God amen that you may be filled then you will be filled with all the fullness of God being strengthened in the inner man abantu abalinganze people who are like me twetaga amanyi muntu wa foomunda we need strength in our inner man amanyi genyini 
real strength. The strength that the Lord gives. Paul continues to tell the Ephesians in chapter 6, the verses 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wails of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up again the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Amen. Abefes from Kaga Kumi, a chain comedero, moving an amani mukama wafe, Nemoyes of Wamani Gay, Mambalenge, your crying sabiona, Evia Katonda, Mudio Kemoyes and go Kuye Medida, Elian Queza Sitani, Kumina Bidi, Kubanga Tetumegana and Musai Namovidi, Wabla Nava Masaza, Nava Boyenza, Nava Fugensi, Abo Muchiziki Zachino, Name your job will be Mubifavia Waguru. Kale mutualenge vyo kurangi sabi yona evya katonda. Mudi okemu yenze ngo kuguma kuluna kuruvi. Edabwe mudi mala ukola vyo na musobolo kuyimirida. Musobolo kuyimirida kuluna kuruvi. So that you can stand on the evil day. Abo luganda sicha ngo kuyimirida kuluna kuruvi. It's not easy to stand on the evil day. Sicha ngo. It's not easy. When you let down, it's not easy. When you are mocked and abused, it's not easy. It's not easy to stand. Bible yagamba mchitabu choku bale sule ya satu. Numbers, the chapter is 30, the Bible says. Obwe ya mo emisangu, ebintu vyo na omukazi, obo mwala vya inzo kola. All the plagues, the... All the things that a lady or a woman can do. Omsajjawe waba wali amubikako oba tatayo waba wali amubikako na abijjawo. If they have their father or their wife, that one can shield them. Sika sichango kuyimirira. It's not easy to stand. Ngojidwa ke chibika. When what covers you has been taken away. I want to speak to the ladies. Who lost their covers. May the Lord strengthen you in your inner man. He has the men. Those that have know. husbands, you temuchitegera. They are things you could be looking at from your husband. When you feel you can do it without him, it's not easy to stand. On the day when you don't have anyone to cover you. First Corinthians 11.3 
Bible says that a woman is hovered or covered by their husband. And a man is hovered or covered by Christ. And Christ is covered by God. But there is a journey. To move from being under a man or a husband unto going under Christ. Because you remain open. You don't have the husband because you don't have the head because the man is the head. You don't hear because the ears were taken away. When the swords come, they directly pierce you. I have seen swords. I have tested pain. I have seen shame. And you look for where to hide and it's nowhere. And you feel like you are dying yet you're not. The Baganda people did not have the spirit of the Lord. But they made a proverb that means that you don't fold your hands where there is a leper. But I've seen people mocking me. He has said, put on the armor. So that you may be able to stand when the evil day comes. After doing everything, stand. I didn't know. Bishop, that it was Bishop hovering and covering over my nation, yet people didn't love me. My tribe. My tribe. I don't even know the language. No kurogera, sirogera. I don't even speak it. Even for the internal affairs people to give me a passport, they make me bring my father. You not know yet you are there. And you don't know that your tribe that you did not have a choice over that one day it will be vanity or pain so I represent all foreigners I said I want to speak to someone who is like me. 
when you are unclothed Wataguru. and you are scratched you walk while not knowing what is next maybe the hands that you intended to fall into they also say she has not yet seen we will also do this the emptiness the shame we need strength every day because the journey is still going on my husband told me when tears were were coming through I saw Tina and Alice there they were there as he was crying and he told and he told me that grace is sufficient I want to talk to someone who is like me. That I am also standing, I am there. Even though I am the way I am. Even though I have so many nicknames. But I am there. He says on the day when evil comes after doing everything stand a soldier unto whom Paul and Cyrus were entrusted when he woke up and so that the prison gates were open. And he thought that all the prisoners had escaped. And he thought of what to tell his leaders or bosses and could not find any. And so that he had nothing else to do. He didn't know what next so he, go, he got his sword at least to kill himself and leave the world I love the words that Paul told him Acts, the chapter is 16. The verse is 28. But Paul called with a loud voice, saying, Do yourself no harm. We are all here. Acts chapter 16 verse 28 Nae Paulo nayo gerera waguru ne doboze dene na gamba anti tewe kula kabi kubanga fenna tuli wano Paulo uh, other version said don't kill yourself Waluo version ezimwezi gamba nga Paulo agamba anti tewe ta fenna we are all here 
Don't lose hearts. We are also here. Ali mudungu atama nyinge lije wali yingira muna ewa yingiri reno nga wagazi Ogeno tukeri wagenda wafunda wafunda Kale akatiba muka jukira keba atu gambi e, e, e jo Tomanyi olaba wafunda wafunda Togwa mumanyi teweko lakabi nafewe tuli And to someone who entered the wilderness when you didn't know you entered when it was wide But as you went further it narrowed just like the other trap of the Japa dollars we were told Do not lose heart because we are also here Lose, don't lose your heart Do not leave the Lord Because he says because he has set his love upon me, I will heal or deliver him. When Sarah had chased Haggai, Haggai reached the wilderness. And she said, you are God that sees. And God sent her an angel. Go and read the words that were told unto Ishmael if they did not come to pass. Do not lose heart. Move with your shame. Do not leave the presence of the Lord. Let those that mock you mock you. Let those who imitate you go on. Those who no longer want to associate with you, let them continue. But all of us are still there. Paul spoke that while, she, while he was still behind bars. God asks Ezekiel. Ezekiel 37. The hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit in the spirit of the Lord and set me in the midst of the valley and it was full of bones. Then he caused me to pass by them all around and behold, there were very many in the open valley and indeed they were very dry. And he said to me, son of man, can these bones live? So I answered, oh Lord, you know, Again he asked me, prophesy, he, he said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Those, thus, thus says the Lord God to these bones, surely I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live. Ezekiel chapter 37 from verse 1. Please let me read. Thank you. Verse 6. I'll put snooze on you and bring flesh upon you, cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. Amen. So I prophesied as I was commanded and, I, as, and as I prophesied there was a noise and suddenly a rattling and the bones came together bone to bone. Indeed as I looked the snooze and the flesh came upon them and the skin covered them all but there was no breath in them. Also he said to me, prophesy to the breath. Prophesy, son of man. And he said to the breath, thus says the Lord God, come from the fourth four winds of breath and breath on, the, on this slain that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me. And breath came into them. 
and they lived and stood upon their feet an exceedingly great amen. amen. In these our last days we are in. The Lord is looking for a man. He's looking for a woman. To make his great amen. But we are all wounded. We, we are all broken. We are in pieces. But the Lord is asking Ezekiel, can they live? The truth is we can live again. The Lord Almighty can breathe on us the breath of life. Can mend our brokenness. He's able. The Lord is able. Katonda even Rakabu was adulterous is in the lineage of Christ how broken was Rakab those who didn't pay her those who just gave birth out of her and didn't take care of the children just imagine the life of a prostitute. How much, to what extent was she broken? The Bible says, when David ran and went into the, the cave of Adram and to those that have debts, the sick, those that are not able to take care of themselves, those that failed on their families, are those that joined him, the widows. Those, didn't those great men have women in their homes? The good Samaritan had, has medicine on his donkey. He has medicine that he puts on wounds. He also has a donkey where he carries us when we are not able to walk by ourselves. He pays our debts. The good Samaritan. As I crown, the good Samaritan, this is what he requires from us in the wilderness. Hebrews 12, 14. Friends, I am not so well. This Bible I didn't get the revelation to write it. I also speak what I have seen and as how I am led in the inside of me. Because you know how to judge us. 
And you say, see how she's speaking. She's not doing anything. I'm still in Jeremiah 18. I am still in the hands of the porter. Pursue peace with all men without which no one will see the Lord. Looking carefully, Lest anyone fall short of the grace of God. Lest any root of bitterness springing up cause trouble. And by this many become defiled. Echikolo chona echoku kawa chiremengo kukola Okuloka no kubera likiriza era nechigwagwaza abanji Ebiwundu chebikola what wounds do obedungu welikola chebikola or what the wilderness does bobate wegendereza nyo if you're not very careful lizalo it gives birth to bitterness. You can't pursue peace. Friends, let's pray for ourselves. Mukama to Wamani Mumuntu have a woman. That the Lord will give us strength in our inner man. Despite your nabia to eat him. Sin song of your nabia to eat him. Chigamba chakatonda chisigala checho. The word of God remains. Wale mo kubera we chikolo chone chobuka. That there may not be any bitter root. That may spoil you. Let us not go weary in the grace. What wounds do, they do not permit you to pursue peace. There's so much desire to go to heaven. I got that mystery in 2012. I want to inherit eternal life. I so desire. Brethren, pray for me. That I may not be taken by bitterness. It's not easy to pursue peace with all people. It's not easy. There is a certain man or husband. There is a man. He 
whoever fed in my hands but he stood and said that woman is so foolish she's foolish the Bible says in Psalm 66 verse 8 you have caused the men to tread over our heads And you feel the root of bitterness. And you feel anger. And you feel like revenging. And you feel the wrath. And you want to relay. But if you put all those things in practice, do you really expect eternal life? The hope of eternal life when it's not there. We are going to pray I want to speak to those that are like me. Even though we go through where we go through, even though you don't know when the wilderness will cease, Let's pray that God will give us strength in our inner man. Because when God strengthens you in your inner man, you can forgive. The inner man that is strengthened is the one that forgives. The inner man that is strengthened is the one that repents. First Corinthians 10. Verse 6. Paul says these words when he's comparing with the children of Israel when they were going through the wilderness. Moreover, brethren, I do not want you to be unaware that all our fathers were under the cloud, all passed through the sea, all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea and ate the same spiritual food and all drank the same spiritual drink for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was Christ but with most of them God was not well pleased for their bodies were scattered in the wilderness if you're not careful God kills in the wilderness. Now these things became our examples to the intent that we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. And do not become idolaters as were some of them, as it is written. The people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. No, let us commit sexual immorality as some of them did. And in one day, 23,000 fell. 
Omlavidizi yaba da yogere joko kuchibi chowenzi wano batu wane namba ya bantu abafa oluya sexual immorality. Yesterday, doctor was speaking about adultery and fornication, and here the number of those that died because of that. And are given. No, let us tempt Christ as some of them also tempted and were destroyed by serpents. No complain as some of them also complained and they were destroyed by the destroyer. Amen. Obuta tegira Boluganda, but Judge of Faith. Thank you. Masabolo Gambe Dungulin Sukiri Deco. You can say the wilderness has overwhelmed me. Nindi Dom Saja Simlava. I've waited for a husband and he's nowhere. I'm tired of being single. Let me get anyone that comes along. Let's not grumble. And be destroyed by the destroyer. We are going to pray unto the Lord to give us strength in our inner man. There are certain places or things that I can no longer do if it's prophesying. I have prophesied so many things and they've not come to pass in my life. I really prophesied last year. I have made the biggest loss. And I said, Lord, I want peace and joy in this year. And so I went deeper in pain. So I don't want to rashly prophesy good. If you still have the strength to prophesy, go on. I no longer have so much that I desire after all. If you still desire certain things, kindly prophesy so that they come to pass. Unto you next year. 2020, when I move, I'm This is over 2020. In 2020, there was a lot of COVID, so I prophesied that in 2021, we'll see the goodness of the Lord, but literally, it didn't come to pass. If you came with your list, I don't refute you kindly, put it before the Lord. But the people that I spoke about, what I want us to pray for, that God gives strength in the inner man. And when we don't know the end of the wilderness or the end of the crime, the oppression unto which you don't know its end, all the evil that comes unto you that you know its end, you don't know when your shame will come to an end. That they may not bath bitterness in you. That grumbling may not be bathed in you. 
that you retain your inner man when it's right with the Lord. Kubanga naringa ngamanyo Yesu, 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 enna ku nkabye, enna ku ngendo kulanga Yesu agamba munsi muri mwe nnaku, mugume. I usually spoke to Jesus and told him and called upon him, Jesus, there is a lot of sorrow, but then I would get scripture that would tell me they, there are so many tribulations in the world. Then I would ask, why do people have a perspective that I don't really have? There are so many trials or tribulations in the world, but take heart or take courage. If you want to be clothed in your inner man, let no bitter root grow in you because it brings hatred. And you want to cut off everyone? Cut off everyone? Even unto one that has done little, you feel you want to add on that? Pray for me. Pray for me that I may not hate. Pray for me. Let's stand on our feet, but those that are like me kindly come to the front. Take care of your property. When you're coming forth, we don't want other wounds. We have come in the presence of the Lord. We have come in the presence Tewaliagenda kuteka kwa mikono na yetu kilizanti kuolta wetu verao ne tuwanike mikono vane tuko wole rao mukama verao if you're able stand and raise your hands if you can't kneel down but when we raise our hands it's a sign of surrender and the Lord is present Yesu Jesus Yesu Jesus Yesu Jesus, I've sinned You save. Asangula maziga, and you wipe away tears. Alokola mutu amunda. You save the inner man. I am bawling You help those that are like me. Tuagala kulu mukama tuagala kulu. We want heaven, God. We want heaven, O oh Lord. But we've been torn apart. Our life is torn apart. We are full of shame, Jesus. At times we feel so weary. We are calling upon you, Lord. We are calling upon you, good one. Save us, O Lord. We are
tuamani tuamani mumu tu afawamuna tulimumasoko hoyo kada noga batoli na bayonde banji holi na balonde banji holi na balonde banji mukama we bangandi wa mukubo nsabo kunyweze we bonda yange Sabonye <laughs> Wali wabali ridwa mwekwe wali wabesi kaba tunde babaiwa wali wabali langa tebali na subi wali wabali na mabanja ke batamanyi ngate mabanyi na ngeri chaka wenye bakatuke mu wali wabali ndiri ndabi subi zavyo abakoye yesu lokola lokola mtu wa munda let a man in Mumutu Amunda, Mukamalo Kalaban traveling Abo, Mukamatunuli, the members of the Twaja Mumula Kale, Kusikila Mumuta Kwawa, Twaja Kusikila Mumuta Kwawa, Oh, 